What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So a few people have been asking me on Twitter to do a video of a breakdown of what the actual objectives are, the difference between the free objectives and the premium objectives. And uh, yeah, I'm off work for, with sick. So off work with sick, off work sick. So I, uh, I said I'd do a quick video overlooking what the actual objectives are. Um, and yeah, just go through them. So firstly, once the servers came back online, we were introduced to this screen, uh, which is introducing a special series of 11 player plus training item packs under premium objectives. Aside from players, each pack will also come with level training programs and they'll also have a team nominating contract that seems to be cut off uh, there as well. And then when we go into the actual um, main menu here into the objectives, you can see that it's now got like a brand new design, a brand new screen, and you've got it broken into objectives and premium objectives. So this was previously grayed out or it wasn't available to premium objectives. So the objectives here are your usual ones with the addition of regular objectives. So the career and the weekly are still there. And then you've obviously got the regular objectives, which seem to be uh, free, that you can actually stack up all of these and score goals. Um, the more goals you score, the more rewards that you get. You get nominating contracts, and these are all tied in here. There's a couple there that you can claim. Um, and again, that ends in 27 days for that. The weekly objectives, they recycle every six to seven days, so weekly. Um, but the premium objectives is probably where most people are asking for a bit of clarity on. Now, I'm still learning about these of how they actually track and stuff and if they're dynamic in game or if it's till the end of the game. Um, but we've got a full list of it there. So we've got a full breakdown here, value, special. Uh, then we've got Lionel Messi and Neymar ambassador packs. We've got the Barcelona, Bayern Munich and Manchester United premium club pack. We've got Arsenal, Roma, Celtic, Monaco, Galatasaray, and Manchester City as your regular club packs. So starting with the first the first one here with the value pack, right? So this is available to purchase for 500 coins. Um, again, these are all optional. And, you know, to be honest, lads, look, I'm not going to give my opinion. I've given my opinion so many times on it. If you're happy to spend your money on it and you want to do it, you can do it. You know what I mean? If you want to spend your money, if you don't want to spend your money, there's more than enough uh, capabilities in the standard players that you can train up, you know, and with the GP or whatever. I'm not even going to get into it because obviously everyone has different reason for playing games and different, uh, different, uh, means and stuff like that. So look, this video interests you, this video interests you, but this is what dream team is at the moment. Unfortunately, we can't play a master league cause it's not available. So this is where we're at with dream team. So the value pack here is for 500, uh, coins, and you can purchase that and it comes with five, it's for 500 coins. And then it says, these are limited times, uh, limited bonus objectives that if you complete all the objectives, you earn up to 110,000 GP and 48,000 trainer points. You also get a five-star nominating contract. So this is running from the 16th to the 14th. So as I said there with the ones that were um, just the normal objectives that you have there, right? So these like are these kind of come into fruition when you talk about playing the event matches and the tour matches. So these are achieved by the number of matches that you play. These are achieved by the number of goals you score. These are achieved by the number of matches played in the challenge events and the same goals in the challenge events. And then these are achieved by playing matches in eFootball League. And these are achieved by playing in the eFootball League and scoring goals. So these all stack, right? So if you if you buy this pack and you play against the AI, right, you will be able to unlock these. If you play in the eFootball League and you score loads of goals or you win loads of games or you just play matches, you don't need to win. And listen, I think it could be a good thing because obviously it adds a little bit more variety that if you're losing a game 4-0, it'll save people from quitting because they say, well, I'm after buying a pack, I'm after spending a bit of money, I might as well just see this out and take my beating um, and just get clear the objective and be done with it, you know what I mean? Instead of rage quitting or whatever, um, which can happen. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of going through it there. And then obviously for the special one, then it's double the price. So it means double the rewards. And that's basically what it is. I don't know why Bowen or Bone is in there as a, as a reward. Maybe he's a beast card, a hidden card. Um, but there you go with that. That is a thousand coins to buy that. So about 10 euro or about eight, seven pounds, eight pounds. Um, and if you complete all the objectives there, um, which effectively you should be just from playing games over the next month, you're going to get 140,000 GP and 76,000 training points as well as the nominating contract, right? So I see people are going to be asking me, 
that five star nominating contract what is that going to get you for the rewards so when you buy that premium objective and you get that five star nominating contract you will actually be able to buy one of the special players that have come out this week um which is the champions league players europa league players and the national players so say these are the new legends for the week we've already covered that liverpool players we've already covered that you have to buy them for coins you know what i mean but these ones are the nominating contract ones all here so if you get your five star nominating contract you will be able to buy any of them players for for the nominating contract you just put up your nominating contract and you reclaim whichever player you want so you can get any of these players um same in there you could get declan rice um, same in there, you don't need any five star for that. But in here, you could get any of those players for five or four star. So yeah, they stack up as well. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably a bit handy as well that you'd be able to get another top class, you know, player. Um, the rewards seem to be fairly, fairly, uh, fairly fair. I would say, especially when you're spending a bit of a bit of real life money. So next up, we've got the ambassador packs, right? So we've got Messi and Neymar. So with Messi. We have got Messi, who is going to come as a legend card, 94 overall. Uh, team play style is going to be set at 80 for possession game for any possession-based players. And then there's going to be 60,000 uh, training points as well. On top of that, when you purchase Messi, um, you're also going to get Suarez, Martinez, Ramos, De Maria, all the players that you see here you're going to get. So... To unlock all this, you just purchase this pack if you want to, and then the, that's it. You don't get any, you just get the rewards straight up. You don't need to earn anything uh, on the pitch. You don't need to play any matches. You just basically get that uh, for 2,000 coins. Same way with that with Neymar. It's the exact same thing, except Neymar, he's got an out wide playstyle proficiency, and he's got a legend card, and then his players are all there Brazilian based and South American based. And then the club packs, again, rinse and repeat with this. We covered it the last game. You've got a legend card, which is Ansu Fati, and then the rest of the Barcelona squad beefed up uh, featured versions of them. And you also get your 60,000 training points. These guys have got a position ga possession game team play style proficiency. Bayern Munich, again, the same thing. These have got quick counter, so I'm assuming a lot of people will buy them. Up in Meccano, you've got Lewandowski, Kimmich, Neuer, same thing there again so you don't need to earn any rewards or complete any objectives for any of these lads so i'll just give a quick rundown of the team and for all that um to see there i mean a lot of people probably buy ronaldo as well um with manchester united you've also got arsenal so them three there were 2000 but arsenal and the rest of the teams i'm going to show you here are 1500 so the players don't come with a legendary edition they just come with 11 featured edition players and they also only have 28,000 trainer programs as well so yeah it's up to you but uh they come with roma and then you've got celtic after them and then you've got manchester city at the end i think yeah galatasaray monaco and manchester city so again, lads, that's that's kind of it there. These have got out wide as well. Ben Yedder might be good. Uh, Fafana is good. Shimani's is good. Shimini. Galatasaray there as well. They have a uh, team play style possession game. Um, and Manchester City. Manchester City have team play style possession game as well. So that is all the packs for that. Um, so yeah, lads, that is pretty much it. And the notes obviously go in here. There's a load of details that you can talk about or look at there yourselves. But that is pretty much it, lads. As I said, let me know in the comments below um, what you guys think of these. Will you be getting one of these? You know, will you support this kind of uh, way of doing the objectives or will you not? Uh, let me know because I'll be interested to hear whether you guys are going to do it or not. And let me know if you guys want me to purchase one. As you can see, we were lucky enough to get a care package uh, from Konami yesterday with a t-shirt and stuff. Um uh, if you didn't see on Twitter. So if you guys want me to purchase one, um, I can do that and let me know what you guys think. But yeah, uh, that is it for me. I'll be back quite soon. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope this answers any question on the objectives and I'll talk to you later. Peace.